welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today we're going to do something that is really simple but can serve as a dessert for kids and adults the same. We're going to do chocolate pudding, but first we're going to do a cookie base and we're also going to top it with some whipped cream and grated chocolate so that you make a dessert out of it instead of just having the chocolate pudding. Of course, if you only want to make the chocolate pudding, then that's fine and it's really, really easy to make. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this chocolate pudding recipe, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. So before we get to the pudding, we're going to make the cookie base. So I have here some crushed cookies. You can use the ones that you like the most. Maybe you want ones with coconut or something that will go nicely with chocolate, maybe caramel cookies. But I have here just regular graham crackers. And I'm going to mix it with a bit of salt that's already in here, as well as some melted butter. And we're going to put it at the base of our molds. pudding is really simple. I have here some melted chocolate that I melted in the microwave. You want to put it in 30 second intervals and mix it in between. And then here I have the milk, the sugar, the corn flour, as well as the cocoa powder, vanilla essence. And we're just going to mix everything in until it starts to boil. that it gets to a boil because then the corn flour will be completely cooked and you know that that's the maximum thickness that it will achieve. Once our pudding mix has uh, boiled, then we can add the chocolate, mix it in and pour it onto our mold. to come to room temperature before you pop them in the fridge and they will take about three hours for this to happen. So these have already been in the fridge for a few hours and we're going to top them with some whipped cream. So here I have whipping cream and also some powdered sugar and I have it in an ice bath so it has ice and also cold water and I'm going to whip it in here because it's just too little uh, cream to actually get dirty my um, stand mixer but if you want you could also do it on there and it's just an opportunity to teach you how you can do whipped cream without a machine so in here i'm just going to whip it up until i like the consistency don't overdo the whipping because it will start to become kind of like butter
pudding recipe. I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video. It makes me really, really happy. Please, if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the blog, don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything savory or sweet that you'd like me to teach you how to make, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. It's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.